Hi guys, today we're exploring a massive, vibrant world of mental ecosystem. They have some huge updates with the Metamorphosis campaign that has started yesterday, so let's just get started. First of all, quick look into the DeFi Llama. You can see that the ecosystem has been up only for the last year when it comes to total value locked, with a massive $60 million amount of inflows that has obviously commenced with the start of Metamorphosis campaign. More on that later. Furthermore, you can see that there is going to be many, many great protocols already deployed on Mantle, such as Pendle and Stargate, some of the staples in the crypto space, which is another reason to be bullish on this whole ecosystem. And lastly, I've been keeping an eye out on Mantle ever since they changed their ticker from BIT to MNT, that was in May last year, and as the start of their layer 2 has actually began development, then you can see that their treasury is boasting one of the biggest amount of assets under management. They currently have just under $3.5 billion in their total assets. And we cannot forget that Mantle Layer 2 is actually backed by Bybit, which is one of the biggest centralized exchanges in the world. And on top of it all, we have received multiple requests to make an update for Mantle ecosystem over the last week. So another perk of being part for Discord is actually you can help us decide on the content that we're going to create. If your suggestion aligns with what currently the state of the market is, we will of course listen. So how do you get into the mental ecosystem? The easiest way to do that is to simply buy MNT tokens, which is the gas token on the mental network. And you can do so obviously on Bybit and some other centralized exchanges such as Gate.io, Mexi, KuCoin and others. However, they are not still on Binance and Coinbase. And this is important because usually when the token gets listed on some of the top, top tier exchanges such as Binance and Coinbase, then this reflects very, very positively on the price action. For example, I remember in late March when I was about to buy my bag, <laughs> big fat stack of mental tokens, it was just like March 27, 26, and then the price went up by like 60% as this post suggests. And then I remember from 0 0.8 to 1.2 dollars in one day. And that was only an upbit listing. So this is a very unknown exchange to us, but it is the biggest centralized exchange in Korea. So imagine what the price action can suggest when it actually gets listed on one of the best exchanges. So from the mid to long term perspective, you can even hold some mental tokens for just holding with price appreciation in mind, especially since you have some ways to utilize these mental tokens. We will talk more about that later in the video as well. Another way to get into mental ecosystem is if you want to use DeFi way and bridge your assets. And this way you can use Jumper or Stargate to send your assets over from many different layer twos or even ETH, but try to avoid ETH mainnet if possible. You can use Jumper or Stargate to get your ETH or stable coins to mental. And then you will also going to need some mental tokens for gas. So you can simply use the refuel option on Jumper to send any asset to get mental tokens on mental network. Once your assets are on the mental network, you can utilize some of their current simpler strategies, which are at the moment with mental station. And you can simply get USD from Athena network. You can buy the stable coin on mental. You can use something like Merchant Mo. And this way you are getting sets for Athena season two, as well as some extra initiatives from the Merchant Mo platform itself. Alternatively, you can also lock your mental tokens on the mental station and participate in the Intent X, which is a main perpetual exchange on the mental layer 2. And this way, you can also share 1 million INTX tokens, which have recently had an airdrop. I'll be honest with you, it wasn't very, very good. But of course, if you want to use your mental tokens in some way, then you can, of course, use this mental station. And maybe we get surprised by how good this one might be in the future. Now let's talk a little bit more about this metamorphosis campaign that has just started yesterday. So it's going to last for 100 days and it's starting on July 1st and it is basically going to be converted into their Cook token, which is a future governance token for mental LSP. So by participating in this campaign, you're going to be generating powder, which is going to be convertible to this Cook token. And there are many ways to participate. The simplest way to do that is by simply staking your ETH from Ethereum mainnet into the METH, Mental ETH, on Mental Layer 2. And you do that by simply going to their website and choosing to stake your ETH. And here you participate in the Mental Ecosystem and, of course, the Eigenlayer points, because you're also participating in Eigenlayer Season 2. 
Then they're going to also launch their liquid restaking token, CMETH. This is coming very, very soon. And this is going to be some kind of multiplier for powder generation as well. However, probably the best way to participate is going to be using some of the partner protocols because this way you're also generating points or some kind of rewards for these projects as well. You can see some famous names here such as Eigenlayer, Stargate, Beefy, Pendle and other projects. Also, there is going to be a rewards, so Cook Future Governance Token Rewards is also going to be distributed for people who participate in the Mental Rewards Station. So this is another reason why you might consider participating in this one. And there's also going to be Cook Rewards, so the Governance Token Cook Rewards mm -hmm. for everyone who has participated in this adorable Puff the Dragon campaign. All the chapters, currently we are finishing Chapter 5. And finally, there's also going to be a referral campaign for everyone participating in Metamorphosis. And today we are actually going to be utilizing one of our Discord members referral. So if you want to help the, if you want to help the channel, then you can always use the Discord referral link that is going to be in the description of the video. When you go to our website, all of the links in all of our videos are always in the description of the video in the first link you find there. Also, if you want to avoid those pesky Ethereum gas fees, you can simply get Mental ETH by sending your assets through various different layer 2s using a bridge we mentioned before. And then you can simply swap into Mental ETH using some decentralized exchange such as Merchant Mo. Now let's take a look at all the ways you can accumulate powder. There are different tiers and the first tier is going to be generating you 40 times powder per day for every ETH that you have in these protocols. So the first option is if you provide liquidity on Merchant Mo, Agni, Fusion X, or Clear Exchange. And as you can see, these are all, unfortunately, uncorrelated pairs, which means that it is ETH and stablecoin, in our case, ETH USDT. So this is fine if you are already familiar with DeFi, if you understand how liquidity provision and impermanent loss works, then you can use this. Just keep in mind, it doesn't say anywhere here, but if you take a look on the platform itself, you can see that the liquidity providers are only going to be getting the the powder rewards if you are in 20% of the active price range, which means if ETH is at 10K and you set your price range under 8K and above 12K or yeah, above 12K, then you are not going to be generating any of these powder rewards. So make sure to set tight ranges between 10 to 15% maximum when using these liquidity provisions for uncorrelated pairs. Then you have another category, which is 30x powder per day. And this is the same dApps, Merchant Mo, Agni, Fusion X, and Clio. However, this is a correlated pair, which is Mental ETH and Wrapped Ethereum on Mental Network. So this doesn't incur any impermanent loss, gives you full exposure to Ethereum, to ETH. And it's much, much safer option. But of course, it is only 30x powder, which is 10 powder less per day for every ETH value of deposit. And then finally, you also have deposits in other projects, other little more risky projects, such as, for example, Karak, Init, Lendl. Of course, one of the safer ones is Stargate. So if you want to just generate 20 powder per day, you can rest easy and simply deposit mental ETH into Stargate. And here you would go to the pools, deposit, and you need to stake the, you need to go in the farms and actually stake your tokens. However, this is also not without risk. There is a smart contract risk in all of these protocols you always need to keep in mind. But maybe the best strategy would be some kind of looping strategy. If you're a little more risk on, if your risk tolerance is a little bit higher, then you can use some of the strategies, for, for example, looping strategy on the time swap platform. Here you can borrow against your deposit, which, mean, which means if you deposit mentally, you can borrow wrapped ETH and then you have this wrapped ETH, you take it to some DEX, swap it for mental ETH and you simply repeat the process multiple times. I highly, highly advise against borrowing uncorrelated assets. For example, if you deposit ETH, borrow stable coins and then loop these, then your risk of liquidation is much, much higher. If ETH drops in value, value of your collateral drops, you get liquidated. It's not a fun place to be. So if you're going to be using, the, be using these looping strategies, you need to be aware of smart contract risks because time swap is a little less known project. And always, always use correlated pairs. So here you have exposure only to ETH. And these two tokens should, in theory, unless there's a major depending event, should always be correlated. 
And then finally, if you want to have some Athena exposure, so if you want to combine Mantle and Athena, then you can go to Init Capital. They also have a points program. And here you can use a looping strategy for Athena. And here you get your USD stablecoin. You deposit your USD. You can also swap into it. You know the drill. And then once you have your USD, then you deposit it here. Then they borrow for you a flash loan of USDT. And then this USDT is used to buy more Athena stablecoin USD. And then it's just a looping strategy. You get 5x the exposure to sets for Athena for season two. And you're only paying about 8% APY because you're using stablecoins. So the APYs are not that terrible. And if you want to have access to all of these alpha and strategies in real time, as well as talk to, with some serious DeFi degens, we share a lot of quality information here daily, as well as all the updates for the upcoming and ongoing biggest airdrops. You can check out our Discord and our application here on our official website. You can see all the options for you. And if you're serious about crypto, you want to take your crypto game to the next level, we're waiting for you in the Discord. And the recently updated airdrop tracking application can be a very, very nice complementary asset on your journey. And let's wrap up with news regarding Puff the Dragon. Chapter 5 has just finished. And if you have participated, you can claim your rewards and unbond your tokens. And soon Chapter 6 will begin. And this one will not have any more bonding, but there's going to be rewards based on your wallet reputation. So if you use one of your main wallets, you're probably going to be much well, much better positioned than someone who has used a burner wallet, for example. Also, there's going to be an NFT collection that is going to be launching on mental this is going to be 8888 these cute little dragons more on this later because this has been just a first announcement regarding this also the chapters are coming to a close chapter six is about to start and i'm really curious to see what this ultimate dilemma the finale is going to look like finally we have another huge topic post regarding this whole mental ecosystem if you want a little more shorter version of everything we talked about today you can check out this post and the one that i would only focus on in this one is primarily the cook tokenomics here you can see that 50 percent of the entire supply is going to be for the ecosystem initiatives so this is going to be some kind of community initiatives community rewards and then you have 30 percent for mental treasury this is probably reserved for marketing initiatives and only 20 percent is split between private sale and core contributors so very sound very simple to understand and seemingly very fair tokenomics and that's a wrap for a deep comprehensive guide for mental ecosystem for today if you like the content make sure to like and subscribe with bell notifications on for any questions drop them in the comments below and if you're serious about crypto, we want to take your game to the next level. We're waiting for you in our Discord. Till next time, have an amazing day.